Hello, welcome back to my channel. So kind of recently, like I guess over the summer and like continuing on to now, I've been really back onto my like reading grind, I guess you would call it. I've always loved books and I just like really can't stop reading now. And especially like romance books I got really into. So obviously I was on like book talk and there's a lot of recommendations over there and a lot of them are the same recommendations. So I read like majority of the like really popular book talk books that like tickled my fancy. Some of them like The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue and stuff like that just weren't calling to me so I didn't read them but I did read some really popular ones and let's talk about it. Sorry the camera was like too high up it made me look like really like low in the frame so that's better and yes I did cut my hair again. Anyway, so the first book I read was It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I don't have the physical copy of a lot of these books here because I borrowed them from a friend or acquired them online for free. Do with that what you will so i'll add a picture but it ends with us by colleen hoover this book is everywhere on tiktok youtube instagram colleen hoover in general is just a really popular artist <laughs> I guess authors are artists, but a really popular author right now. So my friend read it and she lent it to me, so I thought I'd read it. And I had no idea what the book was about before I read it, so going into it, it was kind of like a blind read, which I like to do sometimes, it's really fun. I was not expecting the route, the route, the route it took. Yeah, there's some trigger warnings for that book. I'll add them on the screen if you're curious. I'm not gonna give any spoilers to any of the books in this video in case you want to read them. I know the video says so you don't have to, but I'm just letting you know whether or not it's worth it to read the book. So that, that's just my clarification there. But honestly, I didn't love the book. I just, the ending really didn't sit right with me, especially with the content of the book and what happened. I know it's from the author's personal experience and she kind of based it off her mother's <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure she based it off her mother's relationship, so I understand she's writing from experience and it's her right to do whatever she wants, but I really didn't like the ending. It didn't- I just don't like- if you know the trigger warnings, you can probably guess, but I'm not gonna give away the ending, but it really didn't sit right with me and I finished it and was like, what the fuck? Like, why do people rave about this book? Like, people cry from the book, which I guess I can understand. I don't know, I just- I didn't like it, so. That's It Ends With Us. And I did really enjoy Colleen Hoover's writing, so I read November 9 by Colleen Hoover. And this book I liked a lot more than I did It Ends With Us. I also kind of went in for a blind read on this one. I saw a lot of people talking about it. I knew it was about two people who met up on the same day every year, like November 9th, because <laughs> they meet once and then they keep meeting on the same day. And then this one also, I think Colleen Hoover is really well known for her like plot twists and such. And this one did have a plot twist and it leaves you feeling a little unsure of how you feel about one of the characters. I was in complete shock. It was just kind of like, not gross, but it was just odd to me. I did like the book and I thought the main people were really cute together and then the plot twist happened and I was like, ugh. But I still enjoyed the book. It was an interesting read. I definitely didn't see the plot twist coming. So I guess that's always fun <laughs> when you're reading a book. Yeah, I don't have too much to say about this one because I don't want to give away any of the plot. Yeah, I do recommend this book though. If you're looking for a fun read, it's a really easy read. I finished it pretty fast, so. Number nine. And then the next book I read, super, I don't know if it's like super all over book talk, but it's like everyone's talking about this book or at least was over the summer and I see it everywhere. It's The Unhoneymooners. And let me just say, I hated this book. <laughs> I promise I'm not like a really cynical person who hates a lot of things. I can see the good in a lot of things and I do enjoy them. Like none of these books I actually despised with all my heart, but The Unhoneymooners, I just didn't like. I, I thought the writing style was fine. It was like easy to read, a fun book, a fun concept. I really liked the concept of the book, but uh, the author just, I don't know, it was really odd the way the author described the main character. Like she's short and thick. Like the just, the author makes it seem like she's plus size at first. And I was like, oh, like dope, like a plus size character. We never get those in romance books. Like I'm super into this because she talks about how the main character gained some weight after going through like losing her job and stuff like that. But then she mentions that the character only gained weight in her boobs and hips. So that might be realistic for some people, but like I highly doubt it and then she just kept talking about how big her boobs were and how like curvy she was now and it's just like why like it was just odd but I did like the concept of the book it didn't go I wanted it to be more like slow burn of like the 
the vacation, you know, because they go on a honeymoon together, obviously, like that's in the synopsis. You already know that if you've read the back of the book, but they go on vacation together and I wanted it to be more like slow burn, like they don't really know each other and they get to know each other. But the whole book isn't even the vacation. They like leave like sooner than I thought they would and they're like super close and they just got together too soon and there was a plot twist, but I didn't like it and it just felt odd. It wasn't my favorite book, but it was a good read. Like I do recommend it if you want to read it and have at her. And then the next book I read is called The Layover. This book I didn't see on Book Talk, but is very similar to The Unhoneymooners. I just saw it online where I read for free sometimes when I can't afford to buy another book. Um, yeah, just DM me on Instagram if you want to know how. I don't want to like give it away on YouTube. I don't know. I feel like it's like weird. I don't know. I don't want to get in trouble and I don't believe in like stealing from authors or anything like that, but sometimes you can't afford to buy a lot of books, so you read them for free. So I'm sorry. Anyway, I read The Layover. It's very similar to The Unhoneymooners. I actually liked it better and I haven't seen many people talk about it. I'm not really on book talk too much anymore, like the romance books, but yeah, I haven't seen it very much, but I honestly think it's better than The Unhoneymooners. It was super cute. The main character is a flight attendant and then the guy that is like the love interest is also a flight attendant and they like end up having a layover in Belize or something like that, like some beautiful tropical place. And I just thought it was like a cute book. I don't have too much to say about it. It was just like a nice easy read. I thought the detail was nice and it was really interesting learning the life of like a flight attendant. I think the author might have been a flight attendant. I'm not 100% sure, but I never really thought about flight attendants like that and how they have to stay certain places and how it works and all that. And the author really went into details like that. And I thought it was cute. I don't know. It was a good book. It was like an easy read, just a nice like you want to read on the weekend and just have like a nice read. <laughs> so I definitely recommend that one, The Layover. And then the next book I read, this one's definitely all over book talk, is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne, I'm pretty sure. I honestly liked this book. A lot of people said they really hated it and it felt like a Wattpad fan fiction. And I'm not gonna lie, I definitely got those vibes, but sometimes that's what I'm looking for. Like we didn't spend all of 2013 to 2016 on Wattpad for no reason. Like it's still relevant. So sometimes I'm looking for that kind of book. I don't know. I do enjoy reading books that help you feel like smarter and like you learn stuff, but there's something about reading like a cheesy like Wattpad-y romance book that just makes you feel good about yourself. And like, it's like a guilty pleasure, I guess, but I do like reading books like that. So if you're not like super into that kind of book, like this isn't for you, but it was like an enemies to lovers, like slow burn love. Um, The concept was a little odd for the reason that the main character thought the love interest hated her. I can't remember exactly what it was. This was like one of the first books I read over the summer. So it's been a while, but I can't remember exactly why she thought he hated her, but obviously he didn't. So it was kind of like a battle, but I really loved the way that the author described, oh, my voice today. I really loved the way the author described everything and their writing style was super fun. I did just buy another book from this author, Second First Impressions or something like that. I haven't read it yet. I'm going to hopefully on the weekend. School has just been piling up and I haven't had any time to read, so whatever. But this book was super good. It was like an easy read. It was kind of similar to The Unhoneymooners in a way that the author described the main character as being short every chance she got. Like there's nothing wrong with being short and tiny and whatever. Like I get it, but it was odd and every chance she got, she had to mention that he was And then she kept acting like he was a giant. I don't know, she didn't really mention her exact height, but she was acting like he was a giant and she was just so tiny and he could lift her up and she was just like so tiny and had to wear heels and she was still shorter than him, which is fine if it was mentioned like a couple times, but I swear it was mentioned like every chapter. And my friend who lent me the book was talking to me about this too. She's like, yeah, I'll get used to it. She's gonna talk about being short like every chapter. So maybe the author's short too and kind of related in that way, but it was kind of jarring to just be reading it. And then all of a sudden I feel like every time she she mentioned how short she was, it kind of took me out of the book because it got mentioned so often and it just seemed like it didn't fit in certain places too. So yeah, but honestly, I did like The Hating Game. It was kind of like a guilty pleasure book. So I definitely recommend. <laughs> and if you're short, I think you'll like it even more. I don't know. Do short people like reading about short people? It just felt odd. Like, let me know if you've read the book down below and if you felt the same way. I don't know. Okay, the next book, like book talk book that I read, you guys are gonna hate me for this. I didn't finish. We Were Liars. Everyone swears about this book. Like, 
like for over a year and a half everyone's been ranting and raving about how amazing this book is and the plot twist and it's just such a good book everyone's like buy it buy it buy it so i bought it and i read it and i just could not get into it i tried so hard i just the writing style i found really odd and hard to get into i don't know someone let me know down below if i should finish it or give it another try a lot of people are now saying that it's like overhyped and they didn't understand why it was getting so much hype in the first place because they couldn't even finish it either so i'm not really sure if it's just me i don't know i just don't enjoy the book so i'm sorry but i'm just letting you guys know i didn't really like it so if you do totally great like everyone has different opinions obviously like just because i like a book doesn't mean you're gonna like a book and just because you like it doesn't mean i'm gonna like it but i'm just letting you know i tried to read we were liars and i just couldn't get into it i might try again i just don't have a lot of reading time lately so it's not really one that i want to reach for and read on a weekend when i'm trying to escape from homework because it kind of feels like homework because i'm like trying to just say for what's going on and all that stuff but i do see the appeal of it the whole aesthetic of the book and the setting is super cool and the premise of it is great it's just something about it i can't get into so hopefully eventually i can but for now it's on my did not finish list <laughs> so yeah so the next one i read is one of us is lying this one was all over book talk for like a long time i think it still is there's like a second one now so i think that's what everyone's talking about but i did really enjoy this book i thought it was really cute sorry if anything changed the camera ran out of storage so i'm back but there was like a romance in the book that i wasn't expecting and i thought it was super cute i liked it it's always fun to have a little bit of romance and i did really like the characters who got together so that was fun and i found it quite interesting it's in the point of view of like four four five different people so each chapter like goes between the people who witnessed the accident happen in detention so it kind of gave me like breakfast club vibes too because they're all in detention and you know what i mean it was like a super cool concept the plot was a little predictable near the end i did end up guessing correctly what happened but it's still a good read even if you do know what's gonna happen at the end there's more to it than you think happens so it's like super interesting and i do definitely recommend it i haven't read the second one i don't really want to if i'm being honest i think it's good it's like a standalone and it had an epilogue that i enjoyed a lot of the times i don't read epilogues because i don't really care about epilogues but i did read this one and i enjoyed it so one of us is lying I definitely recommend it's a cute book easy read and just kind of fun to like solve a little mystery like you know I don't know it's just fun so this book I also haven't really seen on book talk all that often but it should be it's definitely like underrated I really like it and I think more people should read it so here it is it's called a good girl's guide to murder the second book just came out I really want to get it but they only have hardcover right now and it's like 20 no I wish it was 20 it's like 30 something dollars so we will see but a good girl's guide to murder it's kind of like a a fun title i don't know i have it right here i forgot my camera's like flipped but yeah it's it's fun to have this on your bookshelf just something that says a good girl's guide to murder really makes people a little weary you know i bought it like just on a whim like over a year ago on indigo i buy a lot of my books from indigo which is like the canadian barnes and noble um it's like indigo chapters and coles they're all like the same whatever i'm not describing canada's bookstores to you if you live in canada you know and if you live anywhere else you don't care but anyway this book i just kind of bought it on a whim because it sounded good I'm pretty sure it's the author Holly Jackson's first novel pretty sure and I really liked it it was super cute it was a fun concept it's like this girl trying to solve a home her hometown's like murder that happened years ago and she works with like the family of the person who was blamed for the crime that doesn't think he actually did the crime and yeah she's doing like a project a capstone project which I don't really know what a capstone project is I think it's like an American graduation project I really don't know but it's super interesting and I highly recommend this book I don't know why why it's not on book talk or maybe it is and i just completely missed it but i definitely recommend if you're kind of into like the book talk genre or any of the books that i've kind of recommended so far and you haven't read this one i do recommend it it's just cute and it's an easy read it's nothing like challenging for me at least i when i say that i'm not meaning that if you do find the books challenging that like you're dumb or anything i just mean the language is pretty simple um it's not like the author spit up a thesaurus all over the page you know some books that you try to read you're like what the fuck am i reading it's very easy easy English and I definitely think anyone in high school and older could read middle school I don't know I don't remember middle school that much I don't know what I was able to, I read like Divergent and Hunger Games in middle school so is this on the same level probably I don't know I really don't know but anyway I think that's about like all the books I wanted to talk about for this video just a quick little like book talk video I hope you guys like this video and I do have a really exciting video coming soon Ugh, I've been working on this video for like over a year and I'm almost done so it's really exciting and I 
can't wait to be done. But school is taking over my life. I'm currently filming this when I should be doing a project that's due in like an hour and a half. So I really have to go and finish that. But yeah, I'm also 4,000 subscribers. That felt like really fake, but 4,000 subscribers. I When I hit 1,000, I could even imagine that many people wanting to subscribe to my channel and like listen to me talk about anything. And now I have 4,000. Like that's so many people. That's so many people. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. Like, hey guys, <laughs> please be nice to me. I don't know who you are. I don't know. It's just a lot of people. And it's insane to me to even think about that many people watching like at least one of my videos and be like, yeah, she seems like someone I'd subscribe to. Like, thank you from the bottom of my heart like I don't even know how to say I'm just so thankful so I always like thank you guys in my community posts when I reach a big milestone like that but I just wanted to say at the end of this video too because I know YouTube doesn't really show community posts to a lot of you guys so thank you so much it's insane so I hope you have a great day evening morning whatever right now and comment down below if you've read any of these books or if there's any similar ones that you think I'd like so okay I'll see you in my next video